is out of service. Yeah, just stop for a day, yeah. maybe. Take it easy. And these poor people, they, they've been hitting, uh, getting hit with snow so much that we keep looking at our weather. Not yeah, our weather's been perfect, Lisette. Well, that's why the South Beach Wine and Food Festival is this weekend, because the weather's perfect mm -hmm. this time of year. Of course, yes. Happy Friday, Josh and Rianne. And there's a reason that they plan out the South Beach Wine and Food Festival this time of year. You know, wine and food lovers will be in heaven this weekend with 50 events, 60,000 people expected. Last night kicked off with the Q. It was all about champagne and barbecue. Tonight, it's all about Burger Bash and the best of the best, which I will tell you about in just a moment. But of course, the weather will be playing an important role. Tons of events taking place right outside on on the beach, on the sand. And right now, most of you are probably just getting ready to head to work, take the kids to school, but you're planning your weekend out. You wanna know what's happening. And the great news is that it is quiet on the radar and satellite. We are so spoiled here in South Florida. We're enjoying the mild low to mid 70s out there with a nice breeze out of the east. And throughout the day today, the breeze will be increasing. In fact, we're gonna see temperatures climbing to the low 80s. So the heat is on, not only outside weather-wise, but inside the kitchen here. As we head throughout tonight, if you're headed to any of the events expect mild breezy conditions and out on the water boating the marine forecast calling for seas two to three and the winds out of the southeast 10 to 15 so into the weekend we go and we are going to see lows in the upper 60s so at night in the morning hours it'll be comfortable a little muggy at times as you already notice the humidity is creeping on up and highs will be soaring to the low to mid 80s as we head into saturday and sunday so stay hydrated and don't forget your flip-flops and your wedges if you're headed out to the events as we head into next week 86 degrees on Monday and then on Tuesday we're going to see a better chance of showers as we have a cold front on the way as we head into Wednesday temperatures will drop to 78 degrees so all in all really this weekend is going to be warm humid and breezy but let's talk about the South Beach Wine and Food Festival and its 12th year tonight the best of the best is taking place at the Fountain Blue you can see I've got my chef's hat my apron and we've also got chef Michael Reed of area 31 he's participating in best of the best and he's preparing Preparing this fabulous dish, surf and turf. The hottest chefs from around the country will be here throughout the weekend. And Chef Michael Reed is one of them. Tell us what you're preparing for tonight. We have seared diver sea scallop with a braised pork cheek with a chili graham cracker crumble on top. A little piece of charred grapefruit on there too. And tell us why you're excited to be a part of Best of the Best tonight. It's the best of the best. <laughs> <laughs> what an honor. Congrats. They're really excited to be there. And what do you think about the South Beach Wine and Food Festival? How does this help out all the chefs that come in from out of town? And what do you think about the experience? What's well, the best event of the year by far in Miami? Um, Ultra's a, a close second, but not, doesn't really come up to uh, South Beach Food and Wine. And it's great to see all my old friends. It's like a one big party for four days. Are there any other events that you absolutely love and you have to attend? I wanted to go to the Burger Bash, which you're going to tonight, but I'm going to be stuck at my event, <laughs> Best of the Best. I'm sure your event will be fantastic. And outside of Best of the Best, of course, we have Rachel Ray's Burger Bash taking place tonight. And you can actually head to our website, cbsmiami.com slash guides. We're going to give you all the information. You know Best of the Best is sold out, and so is Burger Bash. Uh, best of the Best, 350 bucks for a ticket, 225 bucks for Burger Bash. 350 bucks yeah just for your event you could sell that ticket <laughs> but there are other events fun and fit as a family is still available that's twenty dollars at jungle island and we've also got the grand tasting village which is always fun and that's one taking big place party. That, four thousand people one big party immense party and actually tickets still available for the sunday event and the food truck event at midtown is also available so definitely go to our website cbsmiami.com slash guides and the festival lasting through the weekend thank you so much chef michael Reed. Thanks. you're gonna have to show me a few tips because outside of cuban coffee I'm really not great in the kitchen, I gotta say. You've got Josh an apron on, Lisette. We wanna see you do some cooking. Yeah, you, you're ready okay. to cook, you're ready to go. <laughs> I hope by the time that we're done with the show today, I'm actually going to be able to maybe prepare some scallops and some pork cheek. All right. It's very fancy. All right. You're going to bring some back for us, I hope. Yep. Of course. <laughs> of course I'm going to bring some back for you guys. All okay, right. Thank Hopefully. you. How did she get tickets to burger, the Burger Bash? She got it. I don't know. That's great. You know, this, in this so event, lucky. $17 million it raises for the Chap, uh, Chaplin School of Hospitality and Tourism Management. So That's it makes awesome. a lot of money. It yeah. makes a lot. With, with $350 a ticket, yeah. right. better. Yeah. Right, 60,000 people. And, and we're stuck good. here. Yeah, but you know what that means? In the studio. Traffic's going to be terrible yeah. with 60,000 yeah. extra people in town. Exactly.